Hey everyone and welcome to a short little travel vlog. We're here at Havens Have Any More site in Pucheli in North Wales. We've got a bronze caravan. We're going to be here for the weekend. It's Friday evening. It's seven o'clock. It's raining outside. So we've just ordered ourselves a Papa John's pizza to be delivered to our caravan. It should be here in about 45 minutes. We're going to eat that. And if it stopped raining, we're going to have a look around outside. So this is our confirmation. Should hopefully be here at 1945. Little boxes of happiness. Perfect. Thank Absolutely. you very much. Cheers. Okay, bye. Right, we've got our pizzas. Let's eat. So here's our dinner. We've got barbecue chicken pizza. We've got all the meat pizza. We've got potato tots with bacon and cheese. Got a bit of a burnt looking peri peri chicken poppers. And we got a chocolate brownie for dessert. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's raining pretty heavily outside, so the plan to go and explore the site isn't going to happen tonight, I'm afraid. So we're just going to settle into the caravan, we're going to watch some TV, and then we're going to go to bed. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, and we'll do a proper tour of Haven having a more in Pucheli then. So good night, and see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It's a lovely day today, so much different than last night. We've just woken up, we've got ready. There's Holly there. Matthew's finishing off some of the chocolate brownie from last night. Um, I think the plan for today is, it's nice and early now, we're going to go for a quick tour around the park to see what there is here. And then after that, we booked in for the swimming at 11 o'clock. But I think probably first, you want to see a quick tour of the caravan that we're in. So this is our bronze caravan here at Haven Have I No More. We've got a large seating area here with these sofas and that one there is actually a sofa bed as well so we can have additional people in here if we wanted to but we don't need to because we've just got three people here. That's a view out of our window so you can park right outside there which is really handy. That's the recycling point over there so it's easy to get rid of all our rubbish. On the wall here we've got a TV with all the free view channels and an electric uh, fireplace below it like to point out, even though it's the middle of November, it's really warm in here. There's radiators everywhere, and the place is lovely and warm. It didn't get cold at all last night. We've got our table here where we're going to eat our dinner. This is our welcome pass, our welcome pack, I should say, where we've got our play passes. We're going to need these to go to all the activities we want to do this weekend and enter the swimming pool. They're dated, so you have to show them and scan them every time you want to do something. Key to the caravan and a schedule then you've got the kitchen area here which i think holly's having some more of the brownie that we had <laughs> left over from yesterday big kitchen area got electric uh, no we actually got a gas hob and an oven there toaster kettle microwave over there sink obviously they also provide all the glasses and cups that we need as well as plates and bowls and dishes. They don't provide washing up liquid or a tea towel though, so remember to bring that yourself. We didn't, <laughs> so we're using hand wash and our fingers, but we've got some kitchen roll that we brought. Plenty of storage space under all the uh, units as well. And in this one here, if I can move Holly, we've got some uh, saucepans and frying pans as well. So over here, got a fridge. Quite a big fridge, actually. We're not going to use all that. In fact, we've just got some drinks and some blueberries in there. And then we've got a freezer. Over here, we've got the bathroom. So a sink, a mirror, and the toilet in there. And they do provide kitchen uh, toilet roll as well. I was worried they weren't going to provide toilet roll, so I brought some just in case. Over here, it's my room. So we've just got a double bed in here. So I guess this is the master room with a TV on the wall and lots of wardrobe space as well if you need it and there's also a vanity mirror in there in this cupboard here 
is where the boiler is to keep the, the caravan lovely and warm. And some mops, brushes, and a little clothes horse as well. Here we've got the shower room. So we've got a really big shower and a sink. And, a, ooh, there's me. Don't want that. <laughs> and a vanity mirror. Here we've got the second bedroom. So we've got two twin beds in here. This is where Holly's staying. And again, another wardrobe in here. And then finally, we've got the third bedroom with a bunk bed. And this is where Matthew's staying because he wanted the top bunk. So Matthew stays in this bed here. And then it's also got a small wardrobe here. And everywhere's got pretty nice views out of every window. And I think we're pretty lucky, even though it's the middle of November and compared with what it was last night, it's really sunny today, which I'm really happy for. So one quick look around here. So again, here's the main area we're going to be spending in this caravan, living area and the kitchen. And I think now we're going to go for a short tour, walking around the park to see what's actually here. So here we go. And there's our caravan in the daylight. It looks pretty good, I think. We are going to head this way, and I think that's the way to go to the main areas. So while we're walking to the main area, I thought I'd tell you why we're actually coming on this trip. Over the summer, I was reminiscing of when I was a, a child, and I used to come to this place when it was known as Butlins. And um, look at some old photos and some old cine films. So that shows how old it was, it was back in the early 1980s. So we're talking 40 years ago now. And I thought, what ever happened to the Butlins in Pukeli? So I did a web search and I found it's turned into this place, which is Haven Havani Moor. So I was wondering, oh, I wonder if I could just get a day pass to have a look around just to see if things still existed here that used to be here when I was a kid. So I had a look. And I found out you could come here for the weekend, right at the end of the season. So I think this is the final weekend of the season for just £69. So for three nights, £69. I thought, oh, I might as well book it because I was expecting the day pass to be about £30. So we booked it, even though it's for three nights. So Friday night, Saturday night and Sunday night. We're only going to be here Friday night and Saturday night. We're going to leave on Sunday because obviously this school is on Monday for the kids. So that's why we're here, basically, just for me to reminisce from when I was a kid, when this used to be Butlins in Pukeli. So we'll see what's still here, shall we? I believe a lot of it has gone. So I'm just going to look for any familiar buildings and locations. So we're almost there now. So let's see what's here, shall we? So I guess this is one of the main areas. Yeah, that's the Papa Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, and there's the bridge over to the other section as well so the park is divided into two you've got the adventure area over there and more caravans and this is where the food area and a cup and one of the theaters is over here okay let's have a look what's in the funworks entertainment complex <laughs> okay. so you've got an arcade over here Oh, they have got two P machines as well. Four P work, two P work, two P work, two P work, two P work. Okay. Scooby Doo themed horse racing game. Well, tokens are not even real money. They're tokens, aren't they? I guess you're going to go to that Minecraft game later. Maybe. I don't have a PlayStation. Oh dear. And we forgot to bring all our two peas as well. <laughs> oh, this machine's got some tickets hanging out, I guess. <laughs> we'll save those for later. So there's lots of 2P machines here, what I call tuppany nudges, but nobody else at all. Oh, there's some more tickets there as well. We'll have those. Shall we keep walking around, see what else is here? Yeah, do you have more tickets? 
So there's the arcade. We've had a quick look around. We'll come back here later, definitely, I think. We need to get some change so we can use those 2P nudger machine. I forgot to bring our 2Ps. I did have a couple of bags of 2Ps at home, but I forgot to bring them. So we'll have to get some more later. It looks like this is a bar area and also a stage area, so I imagine this is where they do the shows at night. Oh, and Papa John's is there. Yeah, so there's a gift shop over there. There's the Cove, which I think is another like, theatre area. Burger King's over there and Cook's Fish and Chips over there. Slim Chicken is just by there. Okay, so this is the swimming pool area. So this is where we're going to be coming later because we're booked into there for 11 o'clock. It looks like it's got a nice slide coming around there. That was actually quite... Yeah, I'm going to go on it. What about you? Matthew, well... Hang on. Yeah. Well, let's see what time... Oh, yeah, Slim Chickens is open today for lunch. So I think we'll come to Slim Chickens for lunch. Open in 10. 12 till 10. And um, what offer have they got on? Feed four for 25 quid. So we've got... Eight wings, eight tenders, four fries, six sauces, six of toast, and four drinks. I think we'll get individual stuff rather than that, won't we? Yeah. So here's a map of the site. So as you can see, it's pretty extensive. The amount of caravans and stuff everywhere. And this is the miniature golf area. Looks like there's a few <laughs> water traps everywhere. But we'll be coming here later, I reckon, to a game of golf. Won't we, Holly? Yeah. Yeah. And I believe it's £5 a person to play this, but it looks actually quite a big area. It goes back all the way down there. I'm starting to get my bearings now. Where the swimming pool is, that used to be a big field where they used to do like all the activities, like donkey derbies and running around and playing around and stuff. We're going to have a quick look around the gift shop, see what's in here. here as a kid just by here and that side as well so i'll show you so where that is there i think it was about by there was an arcade and there was also an arcade right by here as well i remember because as soon as you came over the bridge the buildings were each side of the bridge it's not much there. yeah 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 so that's how much your caravan is just under forty thousand pound wait what why that one what, to actually buy the carob? Yeah. So let's have a look over the bridge. I think the adventure area is over here. Okay, so these signs say what's where. So the north side is where we've just come from. And now we're going to the south side, which is this way. So Holly wants to do this later. Probably do that tomorrow. And so it's the uh, aerial adventure. A couple of people doing it over there, if you can see. So again, you need to book this via the Haven app or your all your activities you have to book via the Haven app. And this costs £20 each to do that. And there's a minimum height requirement of 130 centimetres, which Holly just about meets. So we'll see about that tomorrow, yeah, Holly? <laughs> do you want to do it? Yeah. Okay. It looks fun. Let's keep walking over the bridge and go to the other side. So it looks like this area is called Dragon Lakes. It's probably got the name from the boating lake here. There's a load of dragon boats. So we're going to probably do this this afternoon. I think it's either 10 or 12 pounds to do that for either half an hour or an hour. So this area has changed a lot since I was last here. So opposite this lake right by here, I think it's probably exactly where that place is by there. That used to be a fish and chip shop there with a restaurant right next to it probably where that climbing wall is by here and then just over by there that used to be the snooker hall where that tower is over by there there used to be a, yeah it was definitely the snooker hall by there and just past that was the fairground so a lot of change here oh and there's a guy coming on the desk like that our zip line is now known as i'll do it today you want to do it today the climbing wall Okay, wow. that's trampolines. So we've got trampoline area there. Looks 
like a kid's play area here. And the Coast House is a restaurant where they do breakfast, lunch and dinner. We're booked in there for tonight at half six. So we won't go in there now for breakfast. We don't think we want breakfast, do we? No. So shall we keep walking around, Holly? Yeah. There's the play area so you get a good overview from this angle. So Holly's going to do the mini climbing frame. Let's go across the rope. You had no fear up there, did you? You're the best one up there. You just walked straight across. To wait like I... 10 minutes because there was a kid. Mm. There was two kids. One of them wanted to help the little boy. Mm. So I had to wait. Yeah. They go up there now. So we've got some pedal cars here. Four, one over there and double ones here. But you might do that tomorrow, I guess. So you and Holly in the front and me in the back with a steering wheel. Unless you want to steer. No. No. So I think the location of the mini market there is where the old cable cars used to be, which used to take us over to the beach. And just behind it used to be the train station, that old used to mini train that also used to take you to the beach. So that was a very short tour. We'll have a proper look around a little bit later, but right now we're gonna head back to the caravan and get ready to go to the swimming pool. Yeah, there's the wooden ones. <laughs> and there's also Wi-Fi throughout the parks and we've got it in our caravan here. And I'm just about to do the speed test for the first time, just to see what the speed is here in the caravan. Okay, not the fastest, but reasonable, I guess. Good enough for just browsing the internet. Although I think Matthew had a problem trying to access YouTube. So, uh, 19 meg second download and less than two meg upload. Okay, so it's pretty slow, but again, we're in a caravan in the middle of a field, so it's better than nothing. Holly, you ready to go swimming? Yeah, yeah. I am. It's looking pretty busy. Oh yeah. Wow, that's really busy. So we've been swimming now. It was really, really fun. Unfortunately, no cameras allowed, even from the observation area at the top. So I couldn't film in there. But what did you think, Holly? It was fun. Yeah. What were you? It was okay. Yeah. So they've got a number of slides there, like a lazy river going around and probably three separate swimming areas. Really good fun. Really busy though. And the changing rooms were manic. It took ages to try and find changing rooms for all of us. And the floors were a bit dirty, but you know, that's what you kind of expect. So, plan is now, are we going straight for food or are we going to go back to the caravan first? Food. Food. What do you think? Food. Food. Okay, so we're going to go for Slim Chickens, which is just over by here for our lunch. Not sure what it's like. I guess it's a bit like KFC, I guess. But we'll see. <laughs> Holly's got a milkshake. Strawberry yeah. And Matthew's got a chocolate milkshake. And I've got a unlimited <laughs> Sprite.
So we've come to Slim Chicken. I've placed an order on the kiosk. Our number's number 74, so we should get our food delivered to our table shortly. So this is Matthew's chicken tenders meal. So he had four chicken tenders and fries. And he's helping himself to <laughs> the <laughs> toast. Yeah. Holly's got four wings and fries. And she's also helping herself to the toast. And I've gone for the classic chicken sandwich with fries. And then my toast. <laughs> These are what the burgers look like. The burger's pretty juicy, but it's quite a small burger. So the total price for the Slim Chicken's meal was just under £35, which I guess we're paying a bit of extra just because we're in a holiday park, so they probably have their own markup. It tastes really nice, but I don't think it's worth £35 if I'm honest. Look like. It looks like you've got a little bit of sauce on it. Should we go back to the caravan? So what did you think of your lunch at Slim Chickens, Holly? It was a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10? Yeah. 8.5. 8.5? <laughs> I like the chips more than the milkshake, though. You like the chips more than the milkshake? You don't even like chips. Them more than the strawberry milkshake. That strawberry milkshake was really nice. I'm sure this area here might have been a like rock garden back in the old Butlins days. Yeah. I think this area here, around where our caravans are, there used to be apartment blocks here. I seem to remember when we were at the swimming pool over there and the, where the field used to be, over in this direction and over going that way. It was an accommodation block that we stayed in once called Hedgehog. I remember and the H was missing off the side of the thing, so it was Hedgehog. <laughs> so I can remember the, where we stayed, Holly, called Hedgehog. And I probably only remember it because it was called Hedgehog, not Hedgehog. Matthew and Holly have seen a rabbit over there, so they're going to have a look if we can get up close to it. There they are. Did you see it? Five rabbits. Wow. So, Holly, what are we going to do now? Uh, we're going to go to a climbing wall. Okay. And who's climbing? Me. So, we tried to book the aerial adventure, but unfortunately, we left a bit too late. It's actually sold out for today, but we're definitely going to book it for tomorrow. So, instead, Holly is going to do the climbing wall. And then, after that, we're going to go on the pedal boats on the lake. <laughs> Are you ready, Holly? Yeah. So you're going to be climbing right to the top of that. So next up is the pedalos. So there's Holly sitting in the back, relaxing. Me and Matthew are pedalling in the front. So we're just going to take our time on this. We've got half an hour. And I think, what's it cost for this £12? I think this was £12 for half an hour. So you steer by just moving this left to right. And obviously you pedal. And the faster you pedal, the faster you go. <laughs> So that in front of us here is where the fairground used to be. So you had an indoor bit to begin with here with the smaller rides. And when you went further along, there was a more extreme rides. And even had a roller coaster that did a loop. And I think that roller coaster, when this place closed down, when I was reading about it, got sold to a theme park in America. And it's actually still there now. Don't fall in. There you go. Just... And don't you fall in either, Holly? All right, we've got Holly in the front now, so we're going to go double the speed. Yeah. 
Um, what did you think of that, Holly? It was okay. Yeah. What about you, Matthew? Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we found some of the original apartment buildings here. They look very familiar, although I seem to remember them having balconies. So maybe these are newer ones compared with what they used to be. We used to have balconies that run all the way along. This area where this car park is now, this is where the fun fair used to be. So we used to have lots of rides here, roller coaster over in that direction. A big umbrella ride that used to spin around. An indoor section probably about by here. And this way was where the old accommodation blocks were. Yeah. I'm assuming these are newer buildings because they don't look the same as they used to do. We thought we'd just take a quick little walk to the beach while it's still daylight. It'd only be a few minutes to get there, I think. You can see it right ahead. So this way is Ogwin Beach. And you can see it just at the end of the road. So here we are at Ogwin Beach. This isn't the beach that I used to come to. The beach I used to come to when I used to come to Butlins is probably about a mile in that direction or maybe a bit less. So I think we've walked to the top of the hill there where those caravans are. And that must mean there's probably a road over by there, so we'll just walk along the road back to the main camp. This bit's a bit of an adventure course <laughs> to get through fussy puddles. Okay, so we found a road, so we're going to go on the road. So, you've got muddy feet and trousers, and Holly's got very muddy feet. I think this area here is probably all the private owners. They don't look like the ones that you rent, and judging by the cars outside as well, some of them are plugged into um, electric sockets. Imagine this is all private ownership here. So you can buy a caravan to stay, to not live here full time obviously but you can buy private ownership caravans here and i think you have to pay about five thousand pound a year or even a bit more for site fees and on top of that i think the utilities just over about a thousand pound a year so even if you buy a caravan pretty cheap it's still a bit costly We've been resting for about an hour, hour and a half in the caravan, but now we're going to go out and get our dinner. And this is where we've got our dinner reservations. It's called Coast House. So our reservations are for 6.30. We're about 10 minutes early, but hopefully we should be seated straight away. So we've just done our order via the app, via my phone. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long to come out. So Matthew has gone for the scampi and chips and some peas. Ollie has gone for lasagna and some garlic bread. And I have gone for the mixed grill. And altogether this came to just over 30 pounds. So Holly has got a couple of scoops of ice cream and some strawberry sauce. Matthew has got some churros with some chocolate and salted caramel sauce, as well as a couple of strawberries. And I have gone for sticky toffee pudding and ice cream. So we've come back to the caravan. After our dinner, we decided to have a quick look at the two theatres. The first one was called Cove, that's the first one that you saw. Back in the day, that actually used to be called the Gaiety Theatre when I used to come here when I was their age. And I remember seeing the Chuckle Brothers there and also the Grumbleweed, so I'm showing my age again there. Then the second one across the way is called the Boardwalk. We had a quick look around there, but there was nothing going on, just the arcade, and I think they're getting ready to do some entertainment starting after 8 o'clock tonight. Anyway, I think we've settled in for the night now in this caravan. Um, we're just going to watch some TV, probably have another snack, maybe. And we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
Why? Good morning, everyone. It's raining outside, but that's not going to dampen our spirits today. So the first activity we're going to do is go swimming. We are on our way to the swimming pool. As you can see, the weather's a bit grimmer than it was yesterday. This time yesterday morning, it was actually quite sunny. Still chilly, but it was, at least it was sunny. Now it's overcast, a little bit of rain. It's coming down just a little bit. But we're going to be swimming, so we're going to get wet anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Looking forward to going swimming again, Holly? Yeah. Yeah, you enjoyed it yesterday. So there's no filming inside, but just to give you an idea of what it looks like. There's a lazy river by there, and it's made up of a few separate pools. Oh, like splash areas and kind of water features and things. So, there you go. I won't film too much. Did you enjoy that swimming, Holly? Yeah. What about you, Matthew? Yeah. We enjoyed it all. <laughs> we come out to some lovely rain. So, we're going to head back to the caravan now. Grab a quick shower. I think we've got to switch to the GoPro with this rain. And then we're going to go head off for some lunch. So, we put the table at the coast house. And we're going to have Sunday lunch there in about 40 or 50 minutes. Anyway, putting this away because it's raining really heavy all of a sudden. The heavens really came down then and as we were walking back. If you look at my trousers, it's how soaking wet we are. So not only are we having a shower now, we also need to change our clothes a bit, don't we? And good job I brought a spare pair of trousers. Okay, because it's raining so much, and I know it's really lazy, but we're going to drive to go for our lunch. It's over the bridge, so it's about a five-minute walk, ten, well, probably a ten-minute walk to get there. And in the rain, it's not going to be very pleasant, so we're going to drive. I try not to drive if we can help it, but in this kind of weather, I don't think we've got a choice, really, have we, Matthew? No. So we've made it inside the coast house. We've just placed our order via the Haven app. Me and Matthew are both having a Sunday roast. Matthew's having gammon, I'm having beef. And Holly's going to have some macaroni and pasta sauce. And all together, because there's an offer on two Sunday roasts for £18 and kids eat for a pound, all that has only come to £19. Excellent. So there's Matthew's gammon Sunday roast. He's tucking in already. There's a birthday going on in the background, you can probably hear. Holly's macaroni pasta with tomato sauce. They're okay, and some garlic bread. All right, yeah. And here's my beef Sunday roast. So we've got Yorkshire pudding, potatoes, carrots, mashed potatoes, peas, some parsnips, some broccoli, even some stuff in there, and some cauliflower cheese. So like I said, all that came to £19. chewy it's not like slice of the beef it's more like a beef brisket if i'm honest but it tastes all right for the price you can't really go wrong we've come to the cakery and Holly has got herself a strawberry ice cream. Matthew has got double chocolate ice cream. And I've gone for a hand-spun strawberry milkshake. Hopefully it should taste really nice. So it's pretty much strawberry ice cream put in a blender and with some cream on top. We finished in the cakery. We, that was really delicious. Now, in half an hour, we're due to do the aerial adventure. But I'm going to see if we can cancel it because it's absolutely pouring down. I don't know if you can see this, but it's absolutely pouring down. We can't really do it in there. So hopefully, they can cancel it and give us a free refund. So we're going to go over there now and find out. Okay, we were able to cancel that, that's great. So apparently we'll get a full refund within about five working days. 
because in this weather, there's no way that would be fun if we were going to do it. So we've got to head back in the car, head back over to the caravan and work out what we're going to do. But first of all, the main priority is to try and be as dry as possible. Okay, we're back in the car. We're going to drive back to the caravan. Again, I don't really like driving such short distances on this holiday park because it's a bit lazy. But in this weather, you can't really help it. Because we got absolutely soaked just walking from the swimming pool back to our caravan. So this is actually quite a long walk as well from this side of the camp to where our caravan is. Got to walk over that bridge. So the two separate parks here in reality, I think. Thinking, you must say, I guess it's one of the north side and one of the south side, I guess. There used to be different colour codes when I was here as a kid. I'm sure one was the red side and one was the green side. Something like that. I can't properly remember. Over by that way, if you look over there, where we just went past, that's where the cable car used to be. And there also used to be a cinema just back here as well, a theater and a cinema. I can remember watching Return to Oz there and also E.T. a long, long time ago. I think E.T. was the first one I saw there. And then Return to Oz, probably the last time I ever came here. But those are both mid eighties, aren't they? So we're just driving over the bridge now. Um, so once we go over the bridge, we'll be back on our side of the camp. You can probably see the rain on the windscreen. Here's the, here's the main area in front of us. So you've got the two theatres here, the, well, the entertainment complex. One's called the Cove, one's called the Boardwalk, and the swimming pool is at the end over there. So I'm pretty glad we were able to get a refund for that aerial adventure because it's not going to be fun climbing up high and all those ropes and zip lining and all that kind of stuff in this weather. It'd just make it thoroughly unpleasant, wouldn't it? And especially for Holly, I don't think you would have liked that, would you, Holly? No. So we're just following this tractor back to our caravan. There's no rush because we've got no other plans for the day, really. Oh. Yeah, we're going to have fish and chips probably before we leave. So we are going to be leaving today at about, I don't know, five, six o'clock. So although we've got the caravan booked for tonight, tomorrow's the school day, so we've got to go home and uh, them two have got to go to school tomorrow. I've got to go to work. So we'll stay here in the caravan for a good another couple of hours, find something to do. We were originally going to be playing adventure golf as well at four o'clock, but that has automatically been canceled in the app. So we should hopefully get a refund for that automatically within five days as well. Fingers crossed anyway. So they said it would get a refund within five working days for the uh, aerial adventure and uh, the golf. If it doesn't, by the time I come to edit this video, I'll put a little message down below saying they haven't <laughs> refunded us. And here we are. We're at our caravan. Now we've just got to walk in the rain just to the caravan. So let's go. We've made it back to the caravan. I guess there's nothing much we can do. We can't really go out in this weather. So we're just going to sit down for a bit. I think Matthew's going to eat some Pringles while lazing on the sofa and watching TV. There's nothing much more we can do for a while until this settles down. I think when this stops, we'll head over to the arcade maybe. I'll we'll go to the arcade. Yeah. So we'll use the last of our change to play in the arcades for an hour or two. Nothing much else we can do really, is there, in the rain? Apart from just relax, just relax in the caravan. One thing about the caravan though, it is pretty, I am pretty impressed with the caravan because there's lots of space lovely and warm and then once you come in it's lovely warm dry very nice lots of place for us all to sit down holly's in her room on her ipad probably talking and facetiming with her friends and i'm just gonna look out the window at the rain i'm glad we're inside at the moment it's really coming down really heavily don't know if you can see this but it's coming down in sheets of rain. So here's Holly enjoying her crisps on her iPad and watching Shrek. It stopped raining, so we're going to head over to the main area again, probably go into the arcade for a bit and then get something else to eat again. It's been a good couple of hours that we've spent in the caravan doing nothing. So we're going to go to the arcade here in the boardwalk. Oh, 
Oh, and he got a car. We've got a new camera. The car looks like. Give me the car. He's got his own little present from being in. That's funny. <laughs> Now, uh, what did you win, Matthew? One of the two P pushes. Oh, yeah. Amazing. <laughs> it costed us £1.30, technically. <laughs> yeah. I think we're following what used to be the old railway line to the coast. And this is quite a secure and well sturdily built kind of footings here. Compared with what's around us, anyways, it's very solid, solidly built. We found the old train station. So here's the old platform for the old train station. So when I used to come here as a kid, I used to get on a little train right by here, which used to take us all the way up there to the beach. Can you climb up there? Grand. <coughs> there we go. There uh, you're on the old train station. So if I can dig it out, I'll show you what this used to look like. I've got a photo, I think, from this exact position, looking at us on the trains. Okay, we've come to the cove for our dinner. I've ordered some fish and chips via the My Haven app. I've been using the My Haven app pretty much the whole time we've been on this trip. This makes life a bit easier. We don't need to go up, queue, and then pay there. So every single table, if you can see that, has got a QR code and a table number. You can probably hear all that behind me. If you look at the stage right over there, we're in the middle of a tox disco. So we're right at the back of the room because we're obviously not getting involved in all that stuff. So as soon as we have our fish and chips, which hopefully should be arriving shortly, we'll head back to the caravan. I think that's actually going to be it for our trip to Haven this weekend. We're going to be heading off home shortly. Fingers crossed the fish and chips are nice for our final meal here, but we'll let you know as soon as they arrive. Holly, are you going to get involved in that? No? Do you want to do that? See ya. <laughs> So that's the Tots Disco going on all the way down there. So like I said, we're really just right at the back of the room, so we're not going to get involved in any of that. We've got our own little table over here. And this is where we're going to stay, isn't it? Okay, we've got the fish and chips now. So my is Matthew's fish and chip. Holly has just gone for a jumbo sausage. Then she shared some of my chips, and I've got for a battered sausage with chips. And then we've got that in the background to entertain us, the Seaside Squad. <laughs> oh, very hot. It did come out of the fryer by the feel of it. It's gonna be Aladdin performing in the theater here shortly. I think it starts about 10 minutes. I guess it's gonna be a panto, but we're about to leave, so we're gonna miss it. Ready to go, Hall? Come on, let's go. If you can get down. <laughs> you made it. Come on, let's go. So we've just bought some rock from the gift shop here. I suppose it is very traditional when you come to these kind of places, seaside resorts. Although we're not really a seaside resort, like you get some rock. So Holly's carrying them back to the caravan. And that's gonna be it. I think for this trip so we'll see you when we get back into the caravan and then when we get there we're just gonna pack up and head home where oh yeah there's a rabbit right by there hold on it's still there around the top of the hill by the rabbit just running around no. yeah you can see yeah just by there okay if i'm going to be completely honest i think that fish and chips was probably the worst meal that we've had here do you think yeah it was your time so the chips weren't very nice. Well, first of all, even though there was nobody there, we had to wait about 20, 25 minutes. And in the end, I just went to the fish and chip shop myself and it was just in a bag waiting. <laughs> they hadn't even brought it to the table. So even though I did a table order, they didn't bring it to the table. So I think it's already started to go a bit. When you get wrapped chips in, in its paper and it starts to go, all the steam starts to make it all wet. 
that's kind of what it was like. It was very wet, very moist. Sausages weren't very nice. Chips weren't really that impressed with, if I'm honest. Don't want to sound negative, but out of everything we've had this trip, I think that's probably the worst food we've, we've had. Anyway, as soon as we get back to the caravan, I'll speak to you guys then. You can see all the rabbits running around maybe over there. So this whole park has got rabbits everywhere. Everywhere you go is full of rabbits. Well, we've made it back to our caravan. We're packing our bags and that can only mean one thing. It's sadly time to go home from our weekend away here at Haven in Avonimore. So if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. It's really appreciated. If you're new here, my name's Mark, along with my daughter Holly and son Matthew. We make travel and theme park videos from around the world. And here's Holly with a special message. If you like this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell button. Bye! Bye!